This video will be introducing the new house on stilts technique for the internal stabilization of the patella for micro fracturing of retropatella osteochondral defects. The first part of the video will be an animation demonstrating the new technique. The second part of the video will be showcasing some of the problems with the traditional technique. And the third part of the video will be introducing each step for the new technique. We will now be explaining the principles to the new technique. The microfracturing process relies on creating holes in the subchondral plate of the defect using sharp tools such as an arthroscopic awl or a K-wire. These holes form a connection between the defect and the inner bone marrow, which will lead to bleeding and the leakage of progenitor mesenchymal cells from the bone marrow. These cells will remain in the blood clot formed and facilitate the regeneration of fibro cartilage. A major obstacle in the use of microfractures for the patella is the mobility of the patella. When the patient is in a supine position during the surgery, the quadricep muscles are relaxed and allow the patella to move freely. This makes the microfracturing process challenging as a large amount of force must be applied through the ore to create the microfracture holes, which can cause the patella to move even more. Our solution involves the retro drilling of three or more K wires through the superficial side of the patella, which exits through the site of the chondral defect in the retro side of the patella, and also through the femur. This permits a strong fixation of the patella. The K wires can be inserted in a cross wire configuration for maximum stability or in a parallel wire configuration. Now we will move on to part two of the video, introducing problems with the traditional technique. In this first clip, the debridement of the area of the lesion is being attempted using a ring curette. However, this step is made difficult due to the hypermobility of the patella, causing the curette to slip when an increasing amount of force is being applied. The same problem is presented when a shaver is used as well. In this third clip, a 70 degree ore is being used to attempt the microfracture, but because of the instability of the patella, the ore can easily skive off the site of the lesion. The step requires a high amount of counter pressure applied manually from the skin side of the patella, which can greatly reduce the operating field of view, making it difficult to visualize the lesion. Another problem with a mobile patella is the improper position of the tip of the ore relative to the subchondral plate. Here, the tip of the ore cannot reliably be placed perpendicularly against the surface of the subchondral plate, which can lead to a hole that is too shallow due to the deviated path of the ore. An improper placement of the tip of the ore can also lead to complications such as fractures. The third part of this video will be describing the steps for inserting the K-wires. Using a blunt instrument, such as a ring curette in this example, a counter pressure is applied from the deep side of the patella against the drilling of the K-wire. In our case, this first K-wire has exited the deep side of the patella away from the site of the defect, which is less optimal than exiting directly from the site of the defect. This K-wire is not removed because it still serves its purpose to fixate the patella. A second K-wire is then inserted next to the first K-wire, followed by both K-wires being drilled through to the femoral condyles for the initial fixation of the patella. The improved rigidity is obvious. To provide greater stability, a third K-wire was initially inserted across the opposite end of the defect. However, it was determined intraoperatively that the angulation of this K-wire had a risk of puncturing through the articular surface of the femur. Therefore, the decision was made to remove the K-wire. Lastly, a new third K-wire was inserted through the conjure defect, providing the best possible stability for the patella. The rest of the procedure follows the standard microfracture technique. As you can see, the patella is now firmly fixated, allowing the ore to penetrate and the operating view to be maintained.